here. It's been a couple days since, I don't know, it's been like a week since the last video. Um, so the, this uh, next part of the video will focus on working on the top end of the car. Basically, this guy right here. Um, so not really sure what throttle setup we're going to use. I don't even know if we can take this off of the throttle. Um, I might want to use this throttle. I'm not sure. Um, this is from the KX. This is the KX throttle. Um, I doesn't, it doesn't look like it's long enough, though. That's one thing. So we're going to have to figure that out later. But for now, um, for now we'll just work on the needle. We're going to work on the needle. And, uh, and, and we're going to modify the throttle the way... Um, throttle comes into the um, the top end because uh so um, I haven't taken the other carb off but the other carb has a little arm that goes like at an angle it goes out and it goes like this before the cable goes through it to it so um, so we need to install that and I got that right here uh, I got this for I don't remember how much it costs I will put a subtitle below right now how much it costs so if you remember last time we rejetted the carb with the main and the pilot jet so that's all done. Um, so all that's left to do to the carb is uh, is uh, check out what's going on with this needle. Um, I hope it has an adjustable needle, so we don't have to mess around with washers and uh, and like we have to we have to to put the new throttle uh, throttle dealy on. So I don't think we're going to be able to use this throttle cable. Um, that's my my guess. Uh, and plus, I don't think it's long enough. Uh, uh, I need a, a little bit longer cable, so, so yeah, um, so yeah, it's been a couple days, I've, I've been, it's hard to find time to work on the bike, um, I've been working my ass off, trying to save money to buy this electric motorcycle, electric dirt bike, and, uh, I don't even know what we're gonna do if I have electric dirt bike, I, I have electric dirt bike and a gasoline dirt bike, then, then what, well, the good thing is, um, I can ride the electric one while I'm working on the gas one, so, um, I'm still not quite done with this bike yet. Yeah, I, all we need to do is just make this bike faster. That's basically what's going on. Um, and I think the fast, the easiest way to get, make more power is uh, change the carb. Change the carb and the exhaust. Um, and uh, yeah, so that, that's what they're saying. Is That's the easiest way to make power. And then the, obviously we have the bore-up kit. I have the bore-up kit. I just haven't been able to install it yet. I just haven't had time. Yeah, I've had so many other things to do. So, all right. Um, but I got some time off of work because I kind of screwed up today. I'll go knock this out. All right, okay. I got my work area kind of cleaned out. So the first thing we could do is let's uh, yeah, let's just take all this. Let's see what we're working with here. Um, so there's a big springy thing here that helps put tension on the slide here. So if you guys don't know... Um, what the needle does is it um, it operates it it meters the fuel from uh, from a quarter throttle to three quarter throttle everything like in between um, in between the pilot and the main jet so um, so yeah that's uh, what this guy's for and uh, depending on the height that you set it at uh, it will. It'll increase the fuel or uh, decrease the fuel. I think if you raise the needle, raising the needle makes it more rich. I think. I think. Don't quote me on that, but I'll put a subtitle below if that's true or not. <laughs> um, okay, so let's take this guy apart. Uh, the first thing to do, I think, would be to you gotta slacken the cable by pushing the dealy here, and then and now what? It's a good question. How does it come out? Of you know what? This is different. <laughs> this is different than the. This is different than the than the stock carb. I don't really know how to. Think okay, so here. I think I see a little plate in there. There's a little plate in there. Let's see. And I'm gonna go fiddle around with that plate. Maybe that's the plate that holds it in there. I think. But I do see. So uh, so good news is I do see that uh, the uh, the needle has a, C, a E clip or a C clip in there, and that means it's. That may mean it's an adjustable needle. We don't. We won't know until we actually take the needle out. So we really, really got to get that needle out of there. So I will figure that out. Uh, I also want to note that this carb is in excellent condition, except for that. I don't know why that mark is there. 
Okay, yes. You see that mark there? I don't know what that what that is. Um, obviously, that doesn't look like it belongs. It belongs there. It's not supposed to be there. So, hopefully, it doesn't affect the operation of the car at all. But the car looks like it's in great shape. Other than that. Okay. So I've kind of figured out this bad boy. All right. So what you got to do to uh, take the you can even just take the needle out like this too. Um, we may not we may not need to take the cable out, but uh, but we do have to take the cable out because we need to uh, we need to do work on this guy here. So anyway, so what you got to do is pull this spring, uh, make sure the cable is taut, and then pull the spring back, and then there's a little plate in here. See the plate here, and then um, I guess you can you can turn it upside down or you can poke it with something. So with the pick here, there's a little opening here. You can shove something through there, and then then it should just fall out. So so you can see you can see straight through now, and then the little plate comes out. There you go. That's what the little plate looks like, and it and it installs like this. Um, and what that does is it keeps your cable from falling out and your needle. So the needle is like free now. Ta -da! Okay. So we'll take that plate out. Take the needle out. So we don't damage it. Ah, yes, it is an adjustable needle. So you can see it has different grooves on the needle. So that is good. That means we don't have to mess around with washers or anything. So it's a tunable needle. We'll set that aside. Okay, and then uh, and then I guess to take the cable out, um, you gotta push up so the cable, see the cable end goes through there, and then you gotta fish it through that the bigger hole over there. Little, it's a little complicated. The other one is a lot easier. The the stock one. You can see it's nicely been oiled in there. It's very very good shape. Slide. So that's a slide assembly right there. Yeah intricate piece of uh, almost looks like a piston okay set that aside and then very carefully let the spring out and there we go okay so, so you just got to remember that this uh the part that's not flat is the one that goes where the slide goes so that's it goes inside the slide the one that's kind of not flat looking it's kind of pointier looking that's the one that goes on the cap like this Okay, so what we got is, so now we just got the cap and the throttle, and don't forget there's a little gasket in there. Try not to lose that. It's a rubber gasket. Um, you got your slide spring. You got the slide. Um, this goes like this. You've got the uh, the needle. So the needle goes in like so. And this guy goes in here, and the plate that holds all of that in. So those are all the components that we got. So all right. So let me get over. Let's let's go modify the needle. So this is this will be easy. I don't have to look for washers or anything. So generally, um, so if you don't know, um, a needle uh, can have there have several slots in it for you to move the um, the e clip here. See, there's an e clip right you can here. See, there's a little e clip here, and it spins. If I if I spin, if I hold the e clip and spin the the needle, it'll spin around in there. So it's kind of a little Pac-Man deal here. Okay, and then you'll see that there's a bunch of uh, slots in it, and what eh, and the way you the way you can raise or drop the needle is by moving the um the e clip here. You just take the e clip out, and you put it in a different slot. Um, so, so how was it? So this is the top of the slide right here. So to raise the needle, to raise the needle, you need to move it down. Raise the needle. If you want to, if you want to um, to lower the needle, um, you move it up, basically. And so right now, right now we are on the second from the top. So we're gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to look up the settings that somebody else used, and hopefully, that'll be pretty close to ours. I think it was like on the lowest. It was on the lowest or on the most bottom. I'm not sure. I'll look that up right now. But yeah, let me get that out of there. So you want to be very careful with that. If you drop it, 
or anything, it may get damaged. It's all made out of aluminum. Okay. Right. So I went and did some internet web search research, I think on like Thumper Talk or Mini, Mini's Planet or something. And there was some dude there that that installed one of these guys. And so he mentioned that they're running um, one clip from the bottom. So, so we're going to go ahead and do that. So let us see here. Okay. So basically you got to take this C-clip out or E-clip very carefully try not to lose it doing this in front of the camera so basically you gotta spread it out so the clip comes out so right now it is the second from the top and we want it we want it one clip from the bottom so basically the second from the bottom basically flip flop it so take this guy out Okay, it's coming out. There it is. Be careful not to lose it. So you want to install it. So this is the bottom one. I'm gonna move it one up. Hopefully that will get us cl close. At least the bike will run. So basically, uh, from what I understand, I am no master of tuning carbs, but I had to do this on my my Warrior quad because I think it was too it was too lean. Um, from a quarter to three quarters and so when you twist that quarter that throttle like a quarter and three quarters and it just like kind of like you know kind of bogs or something or doesn't want to go anywhere um, you may need to give it more fuel it, you may need to give it more fuel or you may need to give it less fuel you know so I would try going both ways but uh but so basically what uh moving the the e-clip on this is equivalent to uh, moving it down moves the needle up and when you move the needle up, uh, it makes the mixture richer, is what it does, from that, that quarter to three quarters. Um, if you move it down, it lowers the needle, and then when you lower the needle, it makes it leaner, I think. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I'll, I'll put a put subtitle below if that's right. <laughs> but that's that's what from what I remember. Okay, so we're done with the needle. Um, good thing we didn't have... So if you didn't have, if you didn't have these cutouts here, to adjust the, the needle with the C clip with the E clip, um, what you would have to do is um, adjust it using washers or spacers. Um, and like if you added a washer underneath this, it raises the needle a little bit, right? So, uh, but we don't. Fortunately, we don't have to do that unless unless for some reason you needed to raise it, you know, a lot more than what this can give you. So, um, hopefully that's not the case. So, all right. So the I don't okay. have a needle. So next. We gotta install this doohickey here. Um, yeah, so I think I think all we really have to do right now is uh, let's just take the cable out, um, just un unbolt the cable. So uh, I f so if you did want to just remove the cable there for this guy, there is a clip here. See, there's a clip right here, and and then they they come out here. So if you took a uh, like a snap ring pliers or something, not not snap ring pliers. Um, this guy here, um, a pick. If you took a pick and picked at it and pushed it, out, pushed it out, you can pull this this clip out, and then the whole cable comes out. But I don't think we're going to use this at all. So for now, let's just unbolt this. Okay. So I think it's a 10 millimeter. It's a 10 millimeter open end wrench. Um, just unbolt it. Not too hard. Or um, yeah. Basically, there's a this is a little locking nut right here. I guess you can adjust the cable with this too. I'm surprised it doesn't have two locking nuts. But anyway, if you loosen this, if you loosen the the locking nut at the top, then you should just be able to unscrew the cap. And the whole thing should just come out. Boom! There it goes. A little, it's a little on the dirty side. Anymore. Okay. But yeah, this carb is in excellent, excellent shape. You can tell they, I had, they had on a supermoto. You know, it's got some oil in it, but that's good. Um, it keeps it from rusting. All right. So the next thing to do is um, let's install this bad boy. So basically, uh, do the opposite. Just screw this onto here.
I, oh man, you know what? I don't remember how far it's supposed to go. Maybe let's go, let's do flush, flush with the cap. Maybe just a little bit inward a little bit. And then, oh, hmm. Let me go look at the bike. Okay, quick. so I went and looked at the bike and the, uh, the cable is angled, this part, the bend is angled towards the front of the bike. So, um, so that's how we want it to be installed. So what we can do is get our dealy here. Boy, I don't know which way it goes. I think that's a good question. I don't really know which way it goes. Hmm. <laughs> okay, sorry. I've never seen this installed on the bike before. I believe the front of the bike is this way. Um, the smaller part, there's a, there's a small part, and there's a small there's a large part. A large there's a larger hole and a and a bigger hole. And I think the smaller hole goes in the front. It looks a little bit smaller. Um, plus the fuel line is on this side. This is where the fuel is on the other bike. And yeah, so this carb is significantly bigger than the other carb too. So what we're gonna have to do. Uh, what we're gonna have to do. So that's pretty much pretty close to the ballpark that we're looking for. We're going to have to install the cap, and the basically what stops the cap is this gasket here. Um, we're going to have to thread the cap on without trying to thread the, the elbow much. I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> Maybe it's easier to just spin the carb. I'm trying not to, not try, try not to spin the, the thingy. Kind of. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Anyway. Okay. That's pretty much there. Snug it a little bit. All right. And then you're gonna want to tighten that. Ooh, you want to tighten it so it's facing the front of the car. There we go. Like that. So maybe, maybe to the front and maybe just like, maybe like a 10 degree angle, like at the one o'clock position, because that's kind of where the cable's coming from. You can adjust it. It's not too hard to adjust on the bike too, I think. So just do that and then tighten the, the locking nut. Okay. So it's probably a good idea to look at the top. So, so that's 12 o'clock. I don't want to shoot for like one o'clock or something. Okay, and then go ahead, tighten that bad boy. Ah, uh, this okay. The nut is different on this one. Hold on. Okay, <laughs> where the uh, the other one was a, a eight millimeter. Um, this one is a a. No, this one this one is where the other one was a ten. This is an eight millimeter. So, so try to kind of keep that from moving while you tighten this down. Or, or what you can do is loosen it a little bit and just tighten it until you get it to where you want it. So kind of... Yeah, this is kind of hard. There's nothing though. There's no way to really stop it from moving. It doesn't have to be super tight. All right, so that's pretty close to how we want it. It's it's like the 12:30 position. Let me tweak it just a little bit. Oh, the cap is moving. Okay. Make sure the cap doesn't move. Just tighten. It. Try not to break the cap. Okay, I think that's good. So you can see it's a it's just a little bit off. A little bit off from 12 o'clock all right so that should be good hopefully hopefully that should be good go loosen this guy and hopefully you got it screwed in most of the way okay yeah that looks good that's pretty clutch how I wanted it I wanted it flush and sticking out inside a little bit I don't think it really matters but all right so man, this is got like a lot of weird some oil in it and stuff it's kind of weird um, all right, so there it is, and then then you just, just your cable goes into here. Um, I don't know if the 
I don't know if this cable goes in there. No, it doesn't. I wonder how that works. <laughs> how is that supposed to work? Okay, anyway, we'll figure it out. Um, we'll figure it out later. Uh, anyway, your cable's going to screw into here. Through here. Um, yeah, okay. So uh, pretty much uh, we've installed the, the angle, the elbow on there. Um, we needed that, so... I wish I, I kind of wish I'd bought the 90 degree one also just in case. So, all right. But uh, I think the stock one is like this one, 45 degrees. So, that's why I bought this one. I think it was like around 10 bucks too. Okay. All right. So, I bought this kind of cool looking aluminum throttle off of eBay a while ago. This is a, or, or should I say, Chibe, China. Um, it, uh, Okay, so we're going to go ahead and adjust the air screw. The air screw adjustment is 1.5 turns. Yeah, 1.5 turns. I don't know if this is you're supposed to slot this or anything, or there's kind of some kind of cover to take out. This only thing I could find on the carp that looks like a slotted screw. Yeah, so I think that's what we're looking for. So this is the air screw right here. Um, go ahead and turn that in all the way. So I don't know. It's almost like from where, from the bottom, from the bottom of the carbon, right now, from the bottom of the carb, it's almost at a three, it's almost fully horizontal. So we're going to go ahead and turn that in all the way. So wait, that's one turn. No, that's one turn. And then that's just, it's okay. So it's at one turn right now. Uh, we, you know, we want 1.5 turns. So. So that's bottomed out right there. I can feel it. It's not going anywhere else. Um, so it's like pretty much in the horizontal position. Almost. It's say it's like at the 830 position is what I'm going to say. If you're looking at it this way. Or like a 230 position. So go ahead and loosen it. 1.5 turns. So that's half a turn. That's a full turn. And that's 1.5 turns right there. And just a little, just a smidge more now. Yeah. Okay. All right. So there we go. That's 1.5 turns. So. All right. So we're done setting up our car. Uh, so you remember from the last video, we uh, put the main jet and the pilot jet in. I think we had a 20 pilot and a 150 main. Um, when people say you can go to 25 or 22.5 or... Uh, or 155 we're gonna go we're gonna go with leaner i feel like leaner is better because because it just in case you go to higher elevations you know it won't um you won't be super rich you know um but you would probably want to jet it for wherever you're riding you know but i ride this bike in different places so um but mostly sea level um all right and then so that was the first video we we adjusted the we we replaced the main and the pilot jet um and that and that was it. Then we put the put the bowl back in. Um, I still gotta replace the screws on this, but it's up to you if you want to replace them or not. Um, and then what we did on this video was we took the top. The top was already out. Um, we uh, we adjusted the needle uh, one clip from the bottom, so it's second second from the bottom. So that raised the needle, and then we installed this. Um, angled elbow here for the cable and uh, I feel like it's kind of too long there. so there it is and then uh, and yeah so we installed the elbow and we got the cable in there and then we put everything back together and we installed the cap and then uh, and then we tested it to see if it it works it does work so. oh boy it's really hard to move okay and then uh, I guess I can install the throttle too. Um, so that that's it. Um, the carb is ready to be installed. So all the all the carb preparation is done. Um, all we got to do is install the carb, hook up the fuel line, um, and hopefully it runs. <laughs> all right. So uh, that's the end of this video. Hope you guys learned something. Um, I sure did. Uh, I'm not really sure if we should have got the 90 degree cable. Um, elbow or or the 45 everyone is saying they use the 45 so 
uh, we will take the stock when we take the stock carb out we will compare the two carbs uh, closely uh, but I can tell you this this bad boy is much beefier than the stock carb this this thing is made to move more fuel it's a much hardier carb um, that uh the KLX is gonna fly now fly or it'll drown in gas one of those <laughs> all right here's we go oh yeah yeah so okay the next um, so the next video will focus on uh, on stripping the bike down and taking the old carb out and then uh, and then mod we have gonna have to modify the intake hose uh, the one that goes to the airbox and make it longer and then uh, and then install the carb and then hopefully it runs so um, we're about halfway there halfway all right here's my out hope you learned something